All right, folks, I want to welcome you. I don't know if I'll make this video just a review slash unboxing or just incorporate this into my cooking show. But I was up at the Ace Hardware today and I've, I've got a gas burner on order from Lazada. One of the ones that folds open, you know. I don't know how long it's gonna take. And last night's cooking failure debacle with that pizza, and it, the things just pissed me off. I said, you know what? I was walking past Ace Hardware when I went up there to the Walter Mart. I just got to browsing. And I found this little portable gas stove. I don't know anything about it. It's uh, 1,300 pesos, which is at 26 bucks. And it uses these little butane things. And I chose this bounce because it had this thing that says uh, no more explosion. And I said, you know, well that's definitely a good thing if the can don't fucking explode. Uh, so I don't know if they've got some type of technology in here where the shit don't explode. And to be honest, I have no idea how these things work. So if I blow myself up and blow up this fucking camera, trying to hook this thing up, uh, maybe I should read the, read the directions here. English. Bounce will not explode even if external heat causes excessive pressure increase. That's good. You can save your life from explosion. And the instructions are written in English, Japanese, Korean, Chinese, Spanish, Russian, and Arabic. Oh shit. And these cans, if you're wondering, they're 74.75 pesos, so that's a dollar fifty a can. And we'll see how long this thing lasts. What is that? 200 and... What is that? 200 and... Uh, ah, shit, I don't know. There's no need to twist. Just push to attach. Lift to detach. Uh, in case of a strong drop, it detaches. Alright, so, so that's the gas canister right there. And like I said, I hope the fuck I'm not going to blow up this camera. This is the Co-Nice Portable Gas Grill. Uh, butane gas, is that what we got? Butane? Yeah, that's butane. So I, I guess we got the, the right gas. The heat output is 1.72 kilowatts. 1480 kcal. What the hell is that? Consumption is 125 grams per hour. All right, so now it's starting to make sense. This is basically a two-hour can on this grill, if that makes sense. All right, it says this thing has a uh, automatic ignition. Now they had a couple of models up there, and the reason I went with this one is because it was sturdier, and, and my Lodge cast iron is heavy. They had a smaller one, it was lighter, and I think if you're backpacking with lightweight backpack stuff, that would have been the better option. This one uh, suits me better because I'm going to be using it here at the house. It is still backpackable, but if I were merely buying a backpacking stove, I would have went with the other one that they, they had available. Alright, so, just got some instructions here. And I need those instructions, but I, I like it too, it's got this nice little Nice little case with latches, that's pretty cool. So that's that's good, being that you know everything I do, I like to make sure it's portable. Alright, so let's start with the legs. These things just fold out. And they're they're uh steel. And so the guy just sits there, and then you fold these bad boys out. Like so. And it's pretty sturdy. It's pretty sturdy. I mean, the lodge is going to put a lot of weight on there, and hopefully that it sustains the weight. And then you got this guy right here. And what does it say? Push the knob until it clicks. Oh, I better not be doing that. I might electrocute the fuck out of me. So you push it in. Uh, to the right is off. This is made in Korea, uh, which I would say is a step up from China. That's a good thing. But now when you look at the box, 
I could have swore it said made in China, but okay, maybe this is made in Korea. Yeah, made in Korea. All right, so we turn it off. Now let's see if we can get the instructions down to figure out how to hook this up. All right, so okay, so this is the ignition plugs here. Gas control. All right, assemble the gas to adapter. Clockwise to part B. So it looks like we put this dude in here. Okay, somehow like so. Oh shit. Okay, so pretty simple. All right, I don't know if you saw that, but basically you pop it in there just a quarter turn, not even a quarter turn, that's an eighth of a turn. Okay, and I smell the gas, so the thing is on there, and then it sits like that right there. Now, I'm going to tell you why I kind of like this model versus the little metal one that I got coming is because I can distance this gas cylinder from the heat. And the one that I got coming from Lazada, you know, which is you see in these, you know, typical kitchens, the burner's here, and this thing is mounted like alongside it. That's how it comes, and you close it up with a case. The reason that I kind of like this guy is because I can put that, that canister way the hell over there. And I could even put a, you know, maybe take a, you know, some type of barrier, sandbag or whatever, and put it, put the sandbag right here, and I'll block, I'm going to block the fucking, uh, the butane from the heat over here. I like that separation, but the one I got ordered and the one that they use, you know, they just put them in there and you, you push that thing down and lock them in. I may be giving that thing away. If this thing works out here, I may be keeping this and, and giving the other thing away. They don't put it up right. Okay, famous last words of any redneck, you know, y'all watch this. thing works like a champion my goodness don't even need matches or a lighter and so I'm gonna be cooking tonight's meal on the Lodge 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker made in America by the good folks down in South Pittsburgh Tennessee let's see first if the if the cast iron skillet is gonna sit on here without just totally breaking it down I'll take the lid off first this is going to be the big test. This thing is heavy. So if this thing is not going to look like it's sturdy as hell, it's just not going to work. Now, it looks like it's, it slides a little bit. If I'm going to be using the, the spatula, I'm going to have to hold it right here. Because that, that's a slippery... You now, it does seem to uh, catch maybe on the ledge on that circle I'm not real cool with that I mean it does seem sturdy enough to hold it probably not the most ideal piece of gear for a big ass cast iron skillet with that added weight uh, folks this is probably now I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is not the ideal piece of gear for this much weight this thing is designed for camping this will nest by itself. This would nest by itself, but at both. I don't think both are going to fit in there. So I'm going to crank open and click it. And you can hear that thing, folks. This guy's a champion. And. You know, it says don't don't open it up to uh, full blast, and I, I see no need to open this thing up full blast. I'm going to pour in some oil because i got to fry these taters up. Oh, shit. Let's get those taters going. That's a lot of taters, but that's where we're starting out this little cooking shell. It's 
So when, when I'm stirring, I, I do need to hold this where it doesn't slide off of here. Let's come on in here with the chicken. Going in. That's just the way it's going to be. Take this time to do a little seasoning. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of this uh, this rub. Get my flavor going on. In addition to the rub, I'm going with the olive oil. Why? Because everything tastes better on olive oil. And just throw the butter in there. Let's not mess around. Let's just get it going. Oh yeah, it's going real well. Here we go right now. In goes with the onions. In goes with the tomatoes. Folks, time to hit it with the mother's best Worcestershire sauce. Coming in there. The calamansi. Try not to get the, the seeds in there. Got a big plate of okra. Probably gonna overflow the bowl, but it's got to go. There's that lone seed I fished out of it. The ladies are gonna protest over this uh, over this uh, okra, but I don't care. All right, now to t fully test this thing out, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the lid and see if this thing will support all the weight. And it seems to be supporting it. Folks, when you're when you're cooking with this cast iron, the hot pot needs the baby shark, and then I'm just putting the the lid on there periodically. But I still need a glove, and it's I'm feeling it through my gloves. This shit gets hot. This little little burner cooking with gas. It's a totally different experience than dealing with the uh, induction burner. All right, folks. I'm I'm gonna do a taste tester. Make uh, wife number one taste the chicken. Make sure it's done. If it's not. Uh, I'll just keep cooking. All right, looks, folks. This is the ultimate test. If this thing holds up the rice cooker on top to get this going, it is truly a fucking champion. Now look, I know that might be some redneck shit, but why waste the heat coming off the top when I can be heating the rice at the same time? Fucking efficiency right there. But when you gotta stir this bad boy, you know, it's, uh, gotta take that off. Take this off. Ooh, Panessa, that's a rolling bowl. Nothing sticking. Perfect. Everything is going perfect on this here meal. Nothing sticking. The lid goes on here. Make sure we're on there good. Oh, yeah. Get it redneck style. Efficiency, my friends. Efficiency. All right, folks, the rice is done, so let me cut this off. There we go. Let's get it off. Yeah, hold that pose, baby. Stay right there. Stay right there. Beautiful angle.